Photoshop, I open a file that from B Ray, which is a render I did, and then I'm going to select this image because it has separate parts of the first image. So I'm going to try and control all, try to do some contrast and then some effects. I'm just experimenting around with the layer modes and I'm gonna try and create some texture. So I'm going to create another layer which is gonna be color gray and this layer I'm going to separate into the background that's in concrete. I'm going to create some grain with the camera roll effects and I'm just going to customize it, create it. Then I'm going to click on the stylize which is in the filter tab and emboss. But the emboss I'm going to create some light direction and some quantity that I have. I want it to look like really really noticeable and I'm going to create some some black lines which are gonna be on the parts that are divided in this concrete wall then I'm going to blending options with blending options I'm going to create bevels and I'm going to use a layer mode like soft light which is going to give this kind of look like they're separated then I noticed that the right corner is like too strong so I converted it in a smart object and then it did it like deleting some parts of it with some low opacity and then I'm gonna ch I'm going to change the canvas size to a size that, that Instagram accepts I'm not going to create sectors because it's not it's unnecessary this you can move it around with the guidelines and I'm going to save three different image images for three different passes in Instagram then I'm going to find my own watermark and create some kind of glass card I'm going to use the shape tool and click on the shape part because it was in pixel then I'm going to give it a gray background which I'm going to create on a clipping mask some kind of render clouds and then I'm going to edit it with a filter with glass using glass then I'm going to select the logo and invert the selection so I can kind of cut it off from the glass card that I created on the layer below and I'm going to try some kind of contrast and some layer modes until I get the effect that I want then I'm going to select the logo again so I can create some layer above which is gonna look the same repeating the same steps with the glass part and I'm going to give it with the bending up some, some shadow I resize it and I have my third image now then I'm going to go to the timeline try to simplify my layers until I get a last layer above them all and I'm going to convert it to a smart object so I can give some keyframes to the timeline I'll move it around from left to right on the timeline I'm going to export it as a video